universe presents us with a huge range of theories, concepts, and research opportunities. Everyone views the universe differently, and whilst some believe there are more than one, some choose to not ponder the overwhelming vastness for too long, and some dive headfirst into all the latest studies and breakthroughs. We are all part of the same universe. Exploring the world beyond our homes on Earth can seem impossible to comprehend, though with every bit of research we draw a little closer to unravelling some more of the puzzle. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be taking a look at three interesting physics discoveries that have developed our understanding of what is out there, from the smallest particles to the biggest stars to searching entire galaxies. Physicists detect ghost particles in the Large Hadron Collider for the very first time. Particle physics may not sound like the most interesting concept, but there are some fascinating developments happening in the field as of late November 2021, bound to pique the interest of even the least scientifically minded among us. Particle physics aims to gain insight into the universe by looking at the smallest units we can in order to gain an insight as to how things work on a much larger scale. However, not all particles are made equal. Some are much more elusive and much trickier to study than others, making them all the more exciting. Back in school, you might have discussed subatomic particles, looking at electrons with a negative charge, protons with a positive charge, and neutrons with no charge all found within an atom. Well, a neutrino is not too dissimilar to this. Neutrinos are subatomic particles that are fairly similar to electrons. However, they differ in two key ways. They have no electrical charge, and their mass is so minuscule that it could even be considered to be zero. What is most unique about neutrinos is the sheer quantity of them. We have billions of them moving through each one of us right now. They are the single most abundant particle in the universe. However, despite the huge numbers and them moving through the universe at quite literally the speed of light, it is very rare that a neutrino interacts with any sort of matter, making them incredibly difficult to detect. Due to their hard-to-prove nature, but us knowing that they are there, they have earned the nickname Ghost Particles, though their supernatural status may be diminishing in light of a new study. The Large Hadron Collider, the most recent addition to the CERN Accelerator Complex, is the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator. It works through superconducting magnets and is based in the European Organization for Nuclear Research in Switzerland. Jonathan Feng, a physicist with the University of California, Irvine, the co-leader of the Phaser Collaboration, said prior to this project, no sign of neutrinos had ever been seen at a particle collider. Six neutrino interactions were detected by the collider and were spotted using the neutrino subdetector, Phaser Nu. This research shows us the sheer capability of the $4.75 billion machine and opens up new doors for researching the little-known neutrinos at such high energies, hopefully letting us continue to dive deeper into their roles, purpose and structure. While we have not detected neutrinos in any particle collider before now, we have managed to see them interact very rarely in some other circumstances, namely Ice Cube, found in America, Super Kamiokande, in a Japanese research project, and Mini Boon, at Fermilab, Illinois. These all used highly sensitive photodetector arrays. When a neutrino interacts with other particles in entirely dark environments, light is produced in what is often described as a shower of light. This light is what the photodetector arrays can pick up on in the rare instance that neutrinos do interact. While this research is great, there are of course limits in how much we can learn from this. The next step was to try to study the ghost particles in particle colliders. The collider neutrons, produced from the decay of hadrons, have extremely high energies. The ghost particles are not well documented as it is, but the study of them at high energies is even more limited. The subdetector used, Phaser Nu, is an emulsion detector. This means that plates of lead and tungsten are fitted with a layer of emulsion in between. The neutrinos then collide with the nuclei of the lead and tungsten plates. 
The particles produced here leave evidence behind in the emulsion layers that can then be observed. The plates develop in a manner likened to photographic film developing. Then the traces left in the plates are available for analysis, with tracks left like footprints of the neutrinos. After determining that the particles observed were indeed neutrinos, the science does not stop there. There are different neutrino varieties, electron, muon and tau, as well as antineutrinos. With more developments in the works at CERN, it is hoped that the next stages of detecting neutrinos is in the not-too-distant future. Furthermore, scientists hope that similar processes and technology could lead them to signs of even more difficult things to detect, like dark photons, a hypothetical component that aids in the explanation of dark matter. Evidence of supernovae found in ancient tree rings While all research into space starts from here on Earth, from building equipment to analyzing data, it is not often that the research is in the Earth but it seems as though looking at trees could give us some answers to how the end of supernova impacts the rest of space around it. Researchers from the University of Colorado Boulder have found a correlation between the radiocarbon levels tracked via the rings in ancient trees and the end of massive stars, supernovae in space. When stars reach the end of their life cycle, there is often a large explosion of sorts, releasing great quantities of high-energy gamma radiation. What researchers are beginning to ask is how often these sorts of events occur. Various techniques have turned in mixed results, with some suggesting three per century, but the last observed event being 400 years ago. Though it seems the trees here on Earth could have some more clues. When the cosmic rays from space reach Earth, they first interact with the upper atmosphere, where there are lots of nitrogen atoms. This produces a nuclear reaction that results in radiocarbon and the quantities of radiocarbon in the atmosphere can be tracked by analyzing tree rings. The general trend is that every now and then a large spike will occur that then gradually decreases over the following years, only to spike again. It's possible that the spikes could be from solar flares or storms, though the current researchers are theorizing that the end of a supernovae could be behind this fluctuating trend. The team used the nebula left after the supernovae exploded to determine all the known events in the last 40,000 years to then compare this to the spike in the tree rings. They found eight coordinating instances, one of which saw a 3% increase in tree ring radiocarbon levels. While this may not sound like much, it is a significant increase. Nothing is definitive yet, but this certainly does present a new avenue for research. Small black hole is discovered hiding in a star cluster. We often hear talk of black holes in sci-fi films on the big screen, how they are dangerous or potential portals. While these tropes are all good fun, the magical nature of real-world black holes is much more limited though it is still exciting when a new one is discovered. A black hole is a point in space where the gravitational force is so strong that even light cannot get out. They can sometimes form from the end of the star's life and due to a high volume of matter being squashed into a small physical space. The lack of light in black holes makes them impossible to simply see. It instead takes dedicated equipment and teams to locate black holes and observe the differences in their behaviors. This is part of why it is so exciting when one is found. Recently, astronomers managed to track down a stellar mass black hole in a satellite galaxy of our very own Milky Way. Galaxies like the Milky Way are orbited by stars and star clusters, as well as other galaxies, named satellite galaxies. It was in one of these satellite galaxies that star cluster NGC 1850 was found to be hiding the newly discovered black hole. The black hole was detected when one of the stars in NGC 1850, one of the brightest star clusters in the large megalanic cloud, was seen to be behaving in an odd motion. This star was the odd one out, with the other members of the cluster behaving in the expected manner. 
the European Southern Observatory's very large telescope, based in Chile, was employed and it was then that it was determined that the gravitational influence from the black hole is what had had this strange impact upon the star. Not only is it exciting that a black hole has been discovered, but this is also the first time this method of detection has revealed a black hole outside of our galaxy. It is hoped that the same technique could help track down other more hidden black holes that may have gone unnoticed. Another useful piece of research we could be able to delve into from this is looking at how black holes form and develop over time, as this is another area that we do not know a great deal about. The world out there remains so unexplored, we cannot wait to see what answers we stumble across next. But what do you make of these interesting discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.